July. It's day two, September 15th. Second day of West Virginia's early season for doe only. I'm in the ladder stand this evening. Last night I was directly across the field in the ground line right there. So the does come out directly under this stand last night. As you can see there's another big field back here that they've been fertilizing the whole summer so the grass is real green. Uh, I've got my camera right here in this corner and the activity this past week has picked up a lot. I mean, there's I got a lot of pictures of those. Pretty nice eight point. They'll probably be coming from back in here. Got my new Hoyt hanging here. Just really hoping something comes by this evening. This should be a really good spot. I've killed deer here before. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get any kill shots on camera or not. But, uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens anyway. Shot one. I don't know if you could see it on there. I hit her a little bit forward though. Well, as you can just see, I just shot a big doe. We weren't in the stand five minutes, and here they come a whole bunch of them. They all come out. I mean, they were right there, staring right at me. I had the camera mounted right here on the on the ladder stand. I somehow got it turned around there. And I was at full draw for like a minute because she was right behind that, that dead stick laying right there. 
But she got out there in that clearing. She was standing about right there. About 32 yards and I shot. And I, I think I hit her in the shoulder a little bit far forward. But there was blood just spewing out of her like crazy. They all ran right across the field over, over into them pine trees. So... I'm gonna give her a little bit of time and sneak over there and hopefully hopefully that shot was good enough to take her out. I think it was, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down and check it out here in a minute. I found my arrow, it passed completely through. I got blood, blood on the ground. This is right where I shot her. Straight across right over where that tree sticking out of the ground right there. I can hear deer over there blowing, but there are several with her. So I'm just hoping she went over in that pine trees and went down. I'm gonna give her about 20 minutes. But that hair looks pretty good. It's solid red. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of time and I'm gonna sneak over there. was a little iffy. She ran about probably 200 yards and died about 50 yards from somebody's house. Uh, I spotted her and I ran up and just grabbed her real quick and drug her back. But I hit her right where I thought it did, just a little bit far forward. And, uh, but I found her, so pretty happy. It's pretty warm, so I'm gonna make it quick and Get her gutted and skinned out, so. Two days of hunting ain't bad. 